Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaiah here from The Automator, and yesterday, July 2nd, they released in V1, this was the interesting part, Oh, so it's 1.1.37.00, and I'll right. put a link up here to our semantic versioning thing of how you can understand what that means, but the fact that we're starting over with a .00 at the end, that means there were some sort of new features. It's not yeah. just bug fixes, otherwise it would be the, the numbers at the end. Um, there um, were some, to me, really interesting, a couple things that I got pretty excited about, so... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Please. I was just going to make a comment on that. Like, remember that V1 is not using semantic fish well, uh, version, but yes. it is similar, right? So yeah. at this point, it, it, just... It says if you go like this, it's fine. Yeah, you just... <laughs> exactly. You just you forget about the first... V1 at the beginning. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I usually see it as, I don't know, I'm sharing my screen now, but here where it says V1 is just like the name of the thing. And after that, then it is the semantic versioning i don't really think he's following 100 percent closely but for now it looks like it because of what you mentioned like he added one feature and for that reason the second number the 36 changed to 37 and with it came a lot of bug fixes and those don't count yet so um yeah you're right so let's take a look at them oh, the as a quick note though when you see that number increment the one we're talking about that's when you're like hey maybe i should really look at this yeah, yeah. that 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 might that might be um and useful right <laughs> here's the other thing that really threw me because we kept saying v1 is deprecated and you know we really should switch to v2 he's not going to be really doing stuff in v1 oh so you know we didn't <laughs> lie. Just, <laughs> you know, no, no, I, no, no, no. <laughs> part of it is we we know um there are other developers that are backporting stuff right not also. only that yeah so 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 he mentioned he's not going to be adding new features to v1 but he's probably going to fix some things sometimes but as you mentioned he's backporting and all of this yeah. was really not for v1 if you look at the v2 announcement uh -huh. for 0 0.3 uh -huh. In the V3, he fixed the version compare, he fixed the old tab, he fixed the com objects, he fixed the hop key controls, and then they merged most of those changes back to one. He fixed version A, B, you know, so he he, he fixed version compare, the old tab, the hot key controls, and so on. So he did add one thing here that's something that is not added in V2 because that was already a V2 thing for a long time. So again, I don't think he's adding new things to V1. He's just merging stuff from V2 to V1. It just so happens that one of those things was a new feature for well, V1. Yeah, tomato, tomato. Like to me, like that's, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah. but it's still, we're, we're not trying to say, hey, stick with V1, right? That's no, no, not, exactly. <laughs> I was surprised. I'm like, oh, okay. This Look is at that, yeah. And and yeah. actually, the reason why you got so so excited now, a lot of these things, when you read them, they make absolutely no sense. Like, hey, he, he changed the com method and property calls to pass large integers. And no. you're like, what the frick yeah. is that? Yeah. You know, like, what, what are you talking I'm about? Glad you said that because to me, I'm like, uh huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I understood that. Yeah. No, yeah. no. Like, so, like some people, I understood some words like past. <laughs> like, right. Yeah. Right. No, but in general, um, in summary, when you read this, Basically, um, what happened was that if you're connected to a COM object and one of the calls that you did to that COM object returned an array, like let's say that you oh, connect yeah. to the HTML object, right? I so know, you connect yeah, to an HTML, HTML object right. yeah. and you had to loop through certain things that the object gave you, you would have to create an infinite loop. You, you would have to just say loop here, loop, right. and then inside the loop, you would have to have a condition that said, if no longer true, right? If not true, then break the thing. Most of the things were like that because you didn't have um, a, a way to, uh, exactly. You didn't have a way to look through each of the things. Another way that you did that was like um, HTML dot um, length, one. Right? the length. No, yeah, minus the length minus one, something like that, right? So right. you had to do these crazy things and that looked a specific amount of numbers, right? So again, forcing an expression because it was V1, you you, you looped a specific amount of numbers, but again, it is a weird thing that you have to do that. Um, that is fixed now. What you do is that then you say four and then each or I, I don't know, some people use the I for index, um, TD in document TDs, for example, and that, 
automatically now creates a group of items from the oh, array that you got. And each of those items is going to contain two variables. One that is the index, the current index, and the object itself that is being returned by the thing. So each of the objects in the array are going to be looped. So now you don't have to worry about infinite loops or that you didn't exit the loop correctly or that you missed a count or something like that, because now you're looping exactly the number of items in the array. Or, or remembering that they're zero based and you have to. Right, that's an, yeah, that was, that was one that was really yeah. annoying because we in our hotkey usually have loops that are one based, one, two, three, four, five. But in other languages, uh, the counting always starts at zero. That's really weird. But now from the fixing of, uh, you know, the fixes that you got, the more interesting ones to me were the hotkey controls. There, there were some, some things that you can do with the hotkey control, even when the hotkey control allowed the thing. So say, for example, that you create a hotkey control and your hotkey was control F. When you went ahead and saved that, you would get the caret and the A, for example, control A. But you couldn't really put the caret as a hotkey in that control. That was a limitation that you had because it was being seen. It was something that was not permitted. So now it is fixed and you can set a hotkey to the caret if you wanted to. You can use the caret as a hotkey, which is, you know, shift six, basically. So you couldn't do shift six because that meant control and, and or certain types of things like that. The same as, you know, to include modifiers when the value was set to a symbol and so on. That was interesting. And one of them, when you were adding menu items, if you had, um, if you were using the menu insert, so you were inserting items into an existing menu, it was replacing stuff. <laughs> so it was replacing stuff that was in that menu before and that got fixed. Probably it is not, those are not type of errors that you see very often if you don't create many menus. But when you did get the bug, it was really annoying. There was no other way to insert. You had to delete the whole menu and recreate it because um, insert was overriding your menu and that was not a good thing. So a lot of very interesting um, um fixes and um, this new addition of, hey, you can use for loops for objects returned by a com object. That That's insane. That's great. Thank God that they did that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, please like the video. It really helps us out. We release videos twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and uh, we're the largest auto hockey channel out there. So subscribe if you want to be notified about updates like this or learning how to use auto hockey. Awesome. Cheers.